Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mystery Channel 33. I am here to help solve missing women shooting in men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive to see spotty suited, change your ethnicity or misidentity. You already should know who's involved, so let's begin. Okay, y'all. I thought I did this already, but I did not. Um, yes. She said the 12 year old is keep messing with her and she ain't lying because she keep messing with me too. Okay. Yes, the eight year old is she's still putting her in a cemetery and bringing her back together. Like I just okay. This is titled now, okay, I'm gonna say okay. This is titled Los Angeles officials plead for help in solving the killing of teen girl dumped on the freeway. I thought that was my niece at first, okay, because like my niece, but it's not my niece. This is how she looked. Okay. Um, she was trafficked here. Also, when they get done losing, I'm just gonna say it, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be real, okay? When they get done losing your body up, they gonna literally drive real fast and throw your body out on the ground. Yes, they is, okay? Um, I had that happen to me alive and deceased, okay? So let's begin. Nearly three weeks after the body of a teenage girl was found dumped on a busy freeway off ramp in Los Angeles, local leaders are pleading for tips from the public and offering a large reward as an incentive to solve her killing. Do not accept your reward, okay? Except the real one. But yes, the frail yo did it, okay? With that car that her she bought from her auntie. I watched it last night on the people force. I'm gonna put it in there. That's the car, okay? I know why she bought it. Tiana Tisa, 16, was found in the early morning of January the 8th, according to officials with the California Highway Patrol, CHP, which is leading the investigation. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner determined Theus died from a gunshot wound to the neck. I'm hearing food. State, county, and city officials had branded together to offer a collective of a $110,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible. See, when you see weird numbers like that in the re in the rewards, don't 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 accept that. Okay, that don't make no sense like that. There has to be an individual out there that witnessed at least a portion, if not the entirety, of the case. CHP Assistant Chief Jesus Hogan said at a news conference Wednesday. We know that people out there witness something that we can follow up on and hopefully get to the bottom of the crime as soon as possible. At a funeral service for Diaz on Thursday, Principal Michael Massis, okay, I'm hearing um, Michael B, uh, what's his name? Michael B. Jupiter, okay, who oversees the Central Juvenile Hall School Diaz attended last summer, called her a brilliant child who was able to jump in immediately and make a difference, supports the girls in her unit. Too. Okay, he do run something like that because that's where I was too when he did that rape gang bang. Thank you for your old bitch. Cool. Anyways, yes. Okay. I'm trying not to y'all. So yes, okay. This is bad. Los Angeles Mayor Erica Gossetti said in a letter that was read to the audience that the city would pursue justice with the urgency Tiana deserves and her community demands. Michael Dolphin, the uncle, spoke before the service. We all think that we do everything that we can to watch out for our younger ones, but they are pulled in so many directions. We need to pull, the, we need to pull harder, he lamented. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say we could have done better. Do not let this tragedy be overlooked. <clears throat> Dolphin urged. There are other young people who need us just as much. Phew. Diaz might have been trafficking victim, VA say. Yes, she was. She was a trafficking victim. At Wednesday's news conference, Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gatcon said Diaz might have been a human trafficking victim. Diaz was considered to be especially vulnerable. Who? Okay, I don't know, but I, I'm hearing who. Um, like my grandma said in that one interview by my dad. My dad talking about he's a pimp or whatever. And she was like, you know. V lad asked her, like, you know, she said, um, I know he couldn't raise all them children. Cause she, he asked, cause she asked him, um, he asked, V lad asked my grandma, how would you feel if one of your family, your daughter or something become a prostitute or whatever? And she was like, he was like, because my dad had a daughter who became a prostitute and some boys that became pimps and shit. 
I mean, I was a prostitute and a pimp. Okay, I was a pimp before a prostitute. Remember that? So he, she, he, she was like, you know, he had so many kids. You know what I'm saying? And he couldn't raise all of them. Okay, so yeah, that's what they're talking about as well. So if you a father, mother, whatever, you got a whole bunch of kids, they they gonna come and get you. Okay, and look, I mean it too. Okay, I got a whole bunch of kids too. I got a zillion. Okay, so yes, they will if they feel like they need to. Indicated she was a child victim of sexual exploitation and her mother was incapacitated following an injury. Explained Tiffany Blacknell, a special advisor to Gascon. Oh yeah, who y'all was for him, huh? Los Angeles County Supervisor Holly Mitchell said Thea's death and the deaths of too many other black females draw too little interest. It is imperative we do not allow implicit bias and of the adultification of black girls to continue to influence the lack of media coverage or public outrage over their mothers. Mitchell's insisted, we have come together as elected leaders to e elevate her mother because of the freedom we experience where black women and black girls' deaths go unknowledged, unreported, and too often unsolved. You ain't lying. Just days after Diaz were killed, Brianna Cupford, 24, who is white, was stabbed to death in the wealthy Los Angeles neighborhood of Hancock Park. Cupford's death prompted a major public outcry and media coverage as the hunt for her killer in Shisuda. A 250000 reward, and that's, that makes sense right there, reward was offered in her case. Last week, don't accept it though, police in Pasadena arrested Sean Laver Smith, 31, I'm hearing yes, and charged him with Cupford's murder. He is being held on a two hundred million thousand bond, according to inmate records. Lord Jesus, CNN had not been able to determine whether he has an attorney. Okay, no, he don't. He's been a guy. Okay, so you like to help with this case? I can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. <clears throat> do the real families of these victims? Corporate America will set y'all up. Thank God. Peace and be safe.